Welcome to our lecture online. Let's do the same problem as we did in the previous video with one difference. The difference is that they both work a different amount of time. So our equation changes to this, where each person will work a different amount of time on the job. Calculating the rate is still the same way. If John can paint the garage in 12 hours by himself, then the rate for John will be 1 12th of the job per hour. If Carl can do the job in 6 hours by himself, then the rate for Carl is 1 6th of the job per hour. And then the equation becomes the rate of John times the time spent by John plus the rate of Carl times the time spent by Carl equals 1. Notice the difference here is that Carl will start 2 hours after John starts. So if the time for John, time for John, is equal to t, then time for Carl will be equal to t minus 2, because since Carl starts two hours later, Carl will work two hours less. So the equation then becomes as follows. The rate for John is 1 12th, and the time can be said equal to t plus the rate for Carl is 1 6th and the time will be t minus 2 and that equals the whole job done. So notice that does change the equation a bit. We still want to multiply both sides by the lowest common denominator to simplify. In this case that's still 12. So let's multiply both sides of the equation by 12. And if we do, this cancels out. We end up with t plus 12 divided by 6 is 2 times t minus 2 equals 1 times 12, which is 12. And now we solve this equation for t. First, we get rid of the parentheses. t plus 2t minus 4 is equal to 12. Move the minus 4 over. We get t plus 2t, that's 3t, is equal to 12 plus 4, or 3t is equal to 16. So the time is equal to 16 divided by 3 and that would be equal to five and one-third of an hour to do the whole job. Just in case you were wondering, what if we assign the time t to Carl instead of John? So let's say that time for Carl equals two hours, uh, not two hours, <laughs> equals t, let it equal t, and so then John would work two hours longer, so then time for John that would equal t plus 2, I keep wanting to put 2 there, t plus 2, then would we get the same result if we use this? Well, we should. So let's plug it in. We have the rate for, um, for John would be uh, 1 12th, and the time for John would be t plus 2, uh, plus the rate for Carl times t equals the whole job done. And again, we would multiply both sides by the lowest common denominator, which is 12. And when we do that, we get t plus 2 plus 12 divided by 6, which is 2t, equals 12. And then we add the t's together, we get 3t is equal to 12, bring the 2 to the other side, minus 2, or 3t equals 10, or t is equal to 3 and a third. And I said, well, wait a minute, you got a different answer. Well, not really. Remember that t here represented John's time and Carl started two hours later. So the total time worked by John would be five and a third hour and Carl would then of course have worked two hours less which is three and a third hours. Here T represented the time for Carl which is three and a third hour and John will work two hours more which would be five and a third hour. So in essence you got the same result just a slightly different approach and that is how it's done as well.